Welcome back everyone. Well, not really welcome back, but welcome to a new let's play of XCOM Enemy Unknown. This time with the expansion as they call it, XCOM Enemy Within. Now, first of all, yes, this is uh, what I said I would not be playing because I thought it was a cheap DLC. Well, not a cheap, a very expensive DLC. But so many people have asked me that, uh, well, I will be doing it anyway because I love you all. Apparently, it's quite a good uh, little expansion. And yes, a proper expansion, apparently. I'll uh, be the judge of that for myself, obviously. But we'll see. Anyway, single player. Um, we'll be playing on classic difficulty because normal is just, you know, not good enough. Advanced options. Oh, tutorial. Uh, we don't really need that. Melt tutorial, yes, I'll need that. Operation Progeny. In the course of defending Earth against the alien invasion, undertake a campaign to rescue an alien abductee who is more than she seems. Huh. Iron Man we will not be doing. Uh, be, we'll be doing our own Iron Man mode, because as you know, the game is quite buggy probably still. And uh, yeah, it just screws with your game. Reduce beginner VO. This option will turn off the voiceover aimed primarily at new players. Enable it if you don't want Dr. Valen to, for example, warn you about the trade-off in using explosives to kill aliens. Uh, oh, that's nice that they've added it. You could actually do that. But, eh. Uh, second wave, let's do. Damage roulette, maybe? A much wider range of damage. No. Random starting skills. Their stats will increase randomly. Training roulette. Uh, does not apply to mech troopers. Save scum. Loading a save game will reset the number seats. So taking an identical action may yield. We don't need that because we're playing, uh, you know, thingy. Our men. Units receive a name bonus the closer they are to flanking an enemy. That seems like a proper thing to do. Damage roulette, could try that, but sometimes it's a bit ridiculous almost, so we'll, we'll do it like that. That's all the second wave options, what about the uh, really long game option? Hmm, that's interesting. Oh well. And that's it. Start the game. Enable tutorial experience. If you have never played XCOM Enemy Unknown, no. And yes, everything is now in orange-ish or gold. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller, in a more scary voice than mine, really should be required. Whoa. Well, this is different now. I think the uh, color is different anyway. Oh, no. This is the same animation as before. This scene is so unrealistic. People will have loads of uh, phones on otherwise. You know, just recording everything with mobile phones. Oh yeah. There. I don't know, have they added sound effects for this a little? I don't know if they've retouched this uh, intro or not. Yeah. Oh, now it's a blue logo. Hello, Commander. Hello. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. You will be watching. Good luck, Commander. What? You won't be watching? 
Well, not as kinky as last time then, I guess. XCOM Enemy Within. Well, the logo is different. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Identify base location. All aircraft and aircraft weapon costs 50% less. No. Laboratories and workshops cost 50% less. Oh, workshops, that's nice. Asia, all project in the foundry, blah, blah, blah. Autopsies, Africa, monthly ESCOM funding increased by 30%. Well, once again, we're going to Africa because I like money. Money's good and a solution to all problems, unless the solution is with a gun. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you Ooh. deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Oh, okay. Neutralize all contacts, I think. Oh, dang. That object is different from the yeah. others. It does not appear to be the same type of pod we've seen used by the aliens during their abduction operations. We may gain new insights if we recover it. Be oh. advised, Commander. Intel confirms enemy activity in this area. Well, that's quite uh, interesting. I mean, you know, it assumes that you've already played it. So what? Do I just Heading go? Out. This appears to be a containment device of some kind. We can only assume it has an internal self-destruct mechanism like the other alien equipment. Although it must have already been disabled somehow. Huh. Got the goods. Meld collected. There may be additional canisters like this one in the area. The more we can recover, the more we'll learn about what's inside them. Any others you find may still have operational <coughs> self-destruct modules. Be careful. Excuse me. Search for additional containment devices. So this is basically, apparently, like a, uh, you know... I'm on it, Commander. Uh, like a tutorial for... Affirm. For Meld. Right. Well, obviously, I'm Solid much more seasoned now than I was at the beginning of the first... Let's play. Let's see what we can do. Probably sectoids. I do like the idea of many new maps, though, apparently. Ooh. Ah! It actually shows you where it's coming from now. What the hell was that sound? Alien life oh, there we go. Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Well, we gotta be careful. Uh, not really in a good position here. 61%, that's not too bad. That's bad. Excuse me. Uh, where can I really get a good position from? I guess I should really go around, but uh, actually, I'm, I'm not gonna see anything there. Okay. I don't suppose these guys have grenades at the moment, so you know. Let's just use our grenades. Oh, that's not far enough. Bloody hell! Come on then. Nice. Sectoid plasma Their pistol. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Uh, Denis Zinchenko. Let's, uh... Hmm. It's not too good. Where shall we put you? I'll just stay here for now, I guess. If that thing comes around, even though I... Yeah, it's coming around. Oh, it's just gonna stay there. Bloody bastard. Nice. Is that all you got? Right. That's probably a very poor... Actually, we can just use a uh, grenade. Don't think they will mind. Even though it's just one sectoid. Hmm. Aye, aye, Commander. Well, this car can explode. I've learned my lesson. Oh, you don't see him here? Well, that's great. Oh, this is... Oh, oh man, this is m so much nicer now. Throwing grenades and using rocket launchers was an absolute bastard to use in uh, in the original XCOM enemy. Uh, no, not the first one, you know, but the first Veraxis one. This is so much nicer now. It The camera doesn't pop up to 3,000 places per femtosecond. That is really nice. Uh, do you have full cover? No, you have half cover here. Uh, let's put you over here. Because that's full cover. And try to shoot. Damn it. Damn it. Missed the target. Damn it. Right, let's get you inside. No, you haven't broken the window. You should have broke the window. 
And where are we going to place you? On my way. Oh, gotta be careful about that side, of course. Uh, I'm just gonna wait. I could throw a grenade, but eh, maybe there's gonna be more. Oh, Overwatch, that's fine. We're gonna throw a grenade anyway, then. Are these sectites, then? That sound? I I'm guessing they are. Oh, this is so much nicer. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. Don't worry. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Don't worry about it, Dr. Valen. We'll be fine. I don't want to go over there just yet, because that might... Uh, on the move. That might uh, aggro more aliens. Oh, crap. Never mind. Now they get a free turn because my turn is over. Yeah, there we go. That's that's the worst you can do. Have them have a turn right after yours. Ooh, lucky. I'm already liking the, uh, the new maps, though. Now that blew the cover. Oh, there's full cover here. That's nice. Oh, nice. Nice little hole. 54 only. Come on, then. Damn it. Well, this guy only has three health? That's strange. Got it. Moving. Right, dang. Where are we going to put you? Can you... You probably can Real shoot him from here, right? 50%. Yeah, let's try it. Damn. That is not good. It is not good indeed. That's also Stepping full cover. Off. Yeah, go! What are you gonna do, little alien? Gonna try flanking? You can't flank from there. Ooh. Oh! Coming from that device implies the soft destruct mechanism is still intact and priming for detonation. Oh! You need to move quickly to recover it before it's too late. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Uh, wait a second, we can flank this guy. If we go over here, it's uh, very risky. Because I don't think we can flank him from here, because, you know... It's very risky, but we'll go anyway, because I don't think there will be more aliens around. Oh! What? Only two? Bloody hell. I think we can flank him from here as well. Yes, we can. What? Oh, there we go. I thought he missed. Right, let's get this melt. Oh, that's a dash. Hopefully that's not gonna bring more aliens. Bad! Yes, it will. That's alright. It's just one sectoid. Can you already pick it up? Like the bombs? Nope. You need your turn. Uh, let's see. Let's get you into full cover. Come on, little sectoid. I know you want to play. Ow! Bloody hell. Got it. Nice. Excellent work, Commander. That should provide us with an ample supply of this substance for analysis. Uh, can I actually throw a grenade all the way over there? Yes, I can. So that's gonna be backup if we can't kill him uh, normally. Damn it! That was just a window, you know. Well. Fifty percent. Nice. Recovering this material should give us a leg up on whatever it is the aliens are developing. I'm sure the doctors will be eager to get started. Very nice. All right. That was a good mission. Nice little intro. Nice new map. I like it. <clears throat> Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research lab. I am going to the research labs soon. Hello. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. 
I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. Oh. I'll let you get to it. Excellent. Dismissed. I think I'm higher rank than him anyway. Here is our base. Oh, well, this is a little different. Click to promote support. Ooh. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge Whoa. our squads need. Lots of aim. They make everyone around them better. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. All right. They recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Hmm, interesting. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's go to the research. Hello, Commander. Hello, Dr. My name Mom. is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. Why are they playing games? We have games? already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Good. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Please do. And do see me in my office, Dr. Van Halen, as I like to call her. Start your research projects. Ah, uh, here we are again. I have no idea what to start first. Uh, alien materials. The invaders appear to have de developed canisters of this strange substance in human populated areas. Perhaps as an experiment, it might also be a weapon of some kind. Further analysis could shed light on its potential dangers and applications. Commander hmm. to engineering. Commander to engineering. Uh, I all I've already forgotten what everything you know, leads to. So we're gonna go for alien materials first, for more armor and such. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Alright. Engineering. Ah, Commander. Hello. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to Engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. You mean Dr. Van Halen, of course. Commander to mission control. Yes, yes, yes. Commander to mission control. Uh, uh, let's see. Medikits will obviously need those. Quite, uh, quite expensive. Satellite, obviously. Build facilities. We've still got some room to grow up here, uh. but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Right, power generator. That's all. Satellite uplink. Ten engineers. Oh, I can't. Oh wait, am I still in the bloody tutorial phase? I can't build everything I want. Oh, well, that's Commander not good. To mission control. Commander to mission control. Darn it. Oh well. There's not much I can do at the moment. I guess I'll need the uh, power generator anyway. Uh, Twenty. Yeah. Uh, I will. Work crews on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. Barracks. View the soldiers. Uh, ship list. Research. No. Let's go to the mission control. Oh, nothing? Okay. Right, so. What you've all been probably waiting for. First of all, I would like to... Thank you all very, very much uh, for applying for soldiers. There have been so many applications, it hurts my mind. There have been about 800 so far. 
and um, yeah, it's just crazy. And considering there were so many, I've decided uh, not to go for the first come first serve basis. Um, but I will rather have to select people at random, which I've already done for the first few. So, let us proceed with the customization and naming. Right. This is gonna be... Battle Bunny. You know him, you love him. Oh, language. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Good to go. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, you're gonna be... I'm on it, Commander. Solid copy. Solid copy. Good to go. Yes, Commander. Well, that's a lot. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Got it covered. Alright, you're gonna be the cool sniper. And uh, let me try... Actually, I've... I'm not gonna find an approximation, so you're just gonna be... I don't know. Like this. Hair color. I'm not gonna spend too much time here. Uh, you don't have any facial hair as far as I know, right? Oh yeah, can also do this. This looks cool. And you're gonna be a sniper. So, you're gonna be black. Alright, welcome to XCOM, Battle Bunny. Next. Who's next in line? It is... Ah, Captain K. You know him, you love him. He's all around, he's all around you. Captain K. Uh, <laughs> Let's give you a Russian. Да, командир. Да, командир. Сделаем. Приказ получен, командир. Слушаюсь. Сделаем. Ooh, this one looks badass. Yeah, assault. Well, you're also white. At least to my knowledge. <laughs> right. There we go. That looks pissed off. Uh, hair helmets. Ooh, an afro almost. Uh, there we go. Hair color, facial hair. I have no idea whether you have facial hair or not, but that looks cool. Armor deco. And as all my assaults, you're gonna be red. Because you're angry. Right, then, uh, then the next one needs to be a woman. It is. She has Demel. Caster. Oh yeah, welcome to XCOM, uh, Captain K, of course. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Good to go. That's affirmative. Solid copy. Yes, Commander. Solid copy. Got it covered. Yes, Commander. There we go. Race. Head. Mm, angry. Like that. There we go. Skin color. That's alright. I think you're pretty... There we go. Uh, hair. Do they have any long hair? Probably not, because it's... Uh, there we go. That, whoa. That looks okay. Uh, hair color. Something like that. Armor deco. You're... Oh, you're a rookie. All right. So we don't know what color you'll be getting. All right, let's uh, move on. Who's the next in line? Oh, it is. Oh, and just nice, because it's a heavy. One big, I'm gonna do it like this, fat guy. Welcome to XCOM, Jester Milcaster, and welcome to XCOM, one big fat guy. Uh, affirmative. Affirmative. Solid copy. I have no idea what race you are. So I'll just assume. Hair. Yeah, you're gonna have no hair. Because you're badass. Oh, that looks kind of high, doesn't he? Oh, that looks better. Facial hair. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I don't bother to shave in the morning. I've got aliens to kill. Alright, you're a heavy, so you're gonna get... The blue, I guess. No, this. This looks good. Welcome to XCOM. Then, next, we have... Who do we have? Oh, yeah. Uh, Grey Knight. Oh, wait. Should I actually do it like this? Grey Knight. Welcome to XCOM. Oui, I need to, uh, you know, uh, randomize this. this. Affirmative. Compris. On y va. 
All right, there we go. We're gonna be French. I do believe they have some of the some of the uh, craziest, most badass special ops in the world. So you're probably from there if you're an XCOM. Uh, facial hair. Ugh. That looks pretty good, actually. And you're still a rookie, so you're gonna be fine. Welcome to XCOM, Grey Knight. Then we have... Cherry... Uh, oop. Cherry... K. Affirmative. You're gonna be a German. German. Which probably means you're gonna be killing them... Without a problem. Because you're extremely well trained. Hair color. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can have that. Armor deco. I have no idea what you're gonna be, so just have some color. Welcome to XCOM, Cherry K. Then we have. Cynaves. An Italian. Okay. I like it. They've, uh, you know, they've uh, made it different. Yeah, let's have other races as well, so... Randomize it up. And there we go. Welcome to XCOM Cynaves. Uh, another woman. Wow, we get a lot of females. Then we have... Alan. Dorkin. This is a little difficult with a big-ass microphone in my way. Affirmativo. Affirmativo. A la orden, comandante. Okay, there we go. I don't know, Spanish? Would it be a little darker, I guess? There we go. That's pissed off. That's alright. Let's give you this. Yeah, no, wait. This looks uh, badass. The color. That's a very cool combination. But we don't know if you'll be a sniper. Whoa, that looks cool. Welcome to XCOM, Alan Dorkin. Then we have... Ah, Sing Zhu. Uh, oh, wait. He wants to be German. Well, actually, I can give you a German. It's gonna be Wither. Welcome to XCOM, Wither. There we go. Yeah. Sehr gut. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I think that looks okay. Yeah. Skin color, hair, helmet. Let's, uh... Yeah, there we go. Whoa. There we go. What color are you getting? Something very bright, apparently. Welcome to XCOM, Wither. Khalid Shazad. Then we have, after that... Ragnar. Uh, what's the last name? Lodbrok. Welcome to XCOM. Oh yeah, why am I doing capitals? Because it doesn't actually work. We don't have any Polish people. What? Whoa, yeah. Yeah, red hair color. Yeah, no facial hair, please. That looks pretty cool. Welcome to XCOM, Ragnar Lord Brock. Ji Chen, who's next? Ah, it is, quite fittingly, red shirt. No Asian, uh... Yeah. Oh well. Solid copy. Yes, Commander. Right. Let's keep it on Asian. Let's 
skin color is okay. Hair. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know... Oh, they added more stuff. Jeez. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Check that out. Armor deco. Oh, even the... the Hat changes. Welcome to XCOM Red Shirt. And Dog Deng. Uh, Dog Deng. It's gonna be. Ronok. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Sarah? 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 Sarah, I guess. Welcome to XCOM. Affirmative. On y va. Tout de suite. C'est tout bon. Uh, let's get, keep you like that. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Well, that looks good. Welcome to XCOM Rock, Sarah. There we go. Everyone's ready now. I like it. All right. It is time for mission control. Hey, wait, have you done anything? Research? Yes. Engineering? Yes. Barracks? Yes. Uh, that's it for now. Let's go. Alien abductions already. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Crap. Uh, well, we obviously want engineers, so let's go for those. Although, money is very, very nice. Actually, with money, we can make more engineers. But I think with this, we need engineers. Uh, oh! Oh, it actually shows you now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, let's see. Uh, right, let's... Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's take a rookie with us as well. It's a customization, probably not much, really. Is that better? Yeah, this is uh, far more responsive now. If I did this in the original, it would just go bleh. Heavy. Somebody needs to bring... Jezdemil Coster will bring a medikit. Actually, you know what? She has to get some kills. So Captain K will do it. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Make items available. Oh, nice! Confirm removal of all weapons. Oh, finally! Awesome! Thank you! This is what I wanted. Launch mission. Oh, also, uh, even though Crow Mercury was our Sky Ranger pilot before, he was there for two LPs, so now we're giving the uh, pilot seat to Ace the Brave. Good hunting, my friend. Launch. Yeah, let's do this. We have visual on the mission site. Begin. Setting down. All right. The next deployment site is in the UK. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. Oh, that's completely different than usual. I like new maps. Oh, awesome. Some kind of a motorway with railway. Strike one. This is central. Oh, cool. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. And this will be completely different now. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope it wasn't too drawn out for you with all the recruiting and everything. Don't worry. We're gonna have lots of action from now on. I'll see you in the next part. For humanity. For Earth. For me and my palace and world domination. I mean... Never mind.